Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're gonna go over some absolutely crazy art-related drama, which includes an update to a story we covered a few days ago. We're at a point where Twitter users are so desperate to control the actions of artists that they're willing to blackmail them in order to control what they post online. So you might remember this piece of artwork. We covered it in a video a few days ago. It is, of course, a gender-bent version of a Spider-Verse character, and you can see it got a lot of likes, but it also got a lot of criticism from people angry about the design of this character. Now, there was one main quote retweet we looked at, this one with nearly 40,000 likes, giving some uh, very solid criticism here, saying, boring, yawning, sloppy, lazy, yeah. Well, the thing is, I, I say this in other situations, that is not the meanest quote retweet ever, right? But it directed 5 million people to the artist and it shared negativity. This directed a lot of negativity towards the artist. This served as a bridge for angry people on Twitter to go after the artist and attack them. They likely found it through this post, which is attacking the artist, right? And they said all kinds of horrible things about this artist. And as a footnote, I just want to point this out. A lot of people were claiming that the artist was a misogynist white man. Uh, just to clarify, the artist is a woman from Argentina. Now, that doesn't seem super relevant, but it will be later in this video. So yesterday, the original artist returned to make this thread on Twitter. It says, I'm so tired and hope you all understand. So they posted this message here and we're going to go through it and keep in mind, English is not their first language. So it says, I know you guys have been telling me I should just ignore the drama, but now it's just so out of control. I'm being blackmailed to talk about someone who I don't even speak with anymore and didn't know about his situation. I did explain it early about my situation and I admit I did things bad in the past, which I deleted and don't represent me anymore. I would like to just live my life in peace and just work in my art. But I hate that someone comes over and demands that I make stuff like some, like there's some kind of a terrorist or even call me a Nazi for the country I live in. That's all I'm going to talk about. And I'm glad the people who really care help throughout all of this. Sorry about this situation. So they would go on to post some of the things that this person was demanding in their DMs. Now, keep in mind, we'll talk about the account itself later. This account has over 4,000 followers, the one that is attacking the artist. So they do have an actual reach. And basically, you can see a screenshot of the message. This person made a literal list of demands, threatening to make an exposed post on this artist. Now, what were they exposing? Well, from what I can gather was that they... The artist liked some edgy memes. And this was from so many years ago that the artist was underage at the time they did those things. That's what they're being blackmailed for. And this person is using that as an opportunity to blackmail this artist into making certain statements. So you can look at the literal list of demands here. It says that they're gonna have to directly address that they are anti-SJW and that they're going to have to apologize to the Jewish community because that was one of the edgy memes they liked and state why, why their actions were inexcusable. Then they need to publicly disavow this Twitter user because reasons. And then they have to post an apology thread the right way. This person's even dictating how they're going to post the apology thread and that they have to do it the exact way this blackmailer wants. This is just absolutely insane, right? You get how hateful and obnoxious this person is, but this really takes the cake. This is a reply from the account that made the, those demands to the artist. It says, hey, I don't want to point out the obvious thing, but like Argentina and Nazis mix for a very specific reason. So not only are they blackmailing this artist, they are also a racist by implying that People from Argentina mix well with Nazis. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. People on the internet uh, did their work. Within hours, people were able to figure out the account that was blackmailing the artist. And it's this account right here. So they immediately privated their accounts. 
and it is very clear that this is the person but if you need 100 percent confirmation that this is the guilty party here this is all the proof you need anyone who blocks me is guilty right they got something to hide they know it but uh yeah that is the situation i'm gonna leave a another link to the artwork the original piece of artwork in the description go give it a like consider following the artist because they don't deserve any of this craziness that they're currently facing but we're going to move on because there is some more art drama to cover today this piece of artwork featuring miles from the spider-verse franchise has gone absolutely viral there are thousands upon thousands of people attacking the artist who made this right here now the reason they're going after this artist is because they claim in their in their headcanon that this is whitewashing a black character. You know, I'm not an artist myself. I don't know the ins and outs here, but that looks like a lighting issue here. This is proper lighting. It's not that they're changing his skin color, it's the lighting. But nonetheless, you probably saw this coming. Someone did a classic fixed it for you. And of course made Miles skin darker in this image so besides the fact that this is the scummiest thing ever uh, a lot of people who actually understand how art works and in particular how lighting works were able to get their opinion out about this fixed artwork so here's an actual artist addressing the comparisons here saying your fix completely screws up the composition you've thrown off the balance between lights and darks the gun almost disappears and the flow of the original image now stops dead at Miles' neck. The low contrast on his face makes it almost unreadable and it melts into the dark parts of the background. And at a glance, he looks like he has a giant goiter in his neck. You've turned a harmonious illustration into a blotchy, unfocused mess. Stop vandalizing other people's work. Like I said, from an artist themselves okay couldn't have said it any better and this person is just vandalizing other people's art it is the scummiest thing the fixed thing anytime you see someone doing the fix your art for you scumbag it's scumbag behavior it's theft and in this case it made it objectively worse so uh yeah uh, there's nothing else to say it's just craziness on twitter what's new but uh, speaking of craziness on Twitter, I swear to God, if I see another one of these posts, I'm going to lose my mind. Another Twitter user decided to say that y'all will say a character isn't trans, and then this is their color palette. Once again, claiming that apparently trans people own a color palette, and that any character that has this color scheme must be trans. And of course, people use this to justify calling Gwen Stacy trans. You know what? Again, this is getting 4,000 likes and a lot of support. I think at this point, this is the only way, the only uh, amount of effort you should put into responding to posts like this. This is all you need to do. Are we really going to play this game? Is this the game we want to play? It's absolutely silly, dude. But uh, yeah, that's all the attention this deserves. But I wanted to go over all the various art-related drama going on. It is a terrible place to be on Twitter. Artists getting attacked left and right by people who don't even understand how art works in the first place. But please share all of your thoughts about today's topics in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.